We just got the latest global carbon emissions data, and something interesting has happened. So last year, the world emitted 42.4 billion tonnes of carbon into the atmosphere, and this year, 42.2 billion tonnes. Now, it's important to note that these are preliminary figures. Obviously, the year isn't over yet, and there are large uncertainties, particularly around emissions from land use change. That basically refers to any emissions that come not from our use of energy. So agriculture and deforestation are the two big things. And that's particularly relevant, because while energy-related emissions are forecast to increase by about 1% this year, land use change emissions have fallen, actually continues a long-term trend. And combined, again, these are preliminary figures, it means that emissions may have plateaued or have slightly dipped over the past 12 months. And if you look at the past 10 years of emissions data, the world's emissions on average increased by 0.3% per year, which is not very much, especially compared with just the previous decade where they increased by 1.9% per year. Analysis from the International Energy Agency and Ember, a notable think tank, shows that our use of fossil fuels for electricity generation has probably peaked and that our overall use of fossil fuels for energy is likely to peak soon, meaning that our emissions are about to go into a period of structural decline. In particular, coal is very much obviously on the decline, while oil and gas may plateau rather than actually going down. And interestingly, this still happened even though the global output of hydropower dropped notably because of weather conditions. So once again, preliminary figures, but this indicates that we may be at the peak of global emissions. So is this good news? Well, yes and no. Yes, it is good news in that global emissions are no longer increasing, which has been the norm for decades. But it's important to remember that climate change doesn't stop getting worse when emissions stop increasing. Climate change stops getting worse when emissions go to net zero. And we are currently a very long way from net zero, and our rate of decrease in emissions is currently nowhere near fast enough. Recent analysis indicates that the world's heading for somewhere between 2.5 and 3 degrees, probably like 2.7, by 2100 based on current policies and current emissions. And that's too high. This latest data is almost pre-good news. When the data shows that emissions are falling, we can say that the problem is getting worse slower. At the moment, we're saying that the problem isn't getting worse any faster.